logic seems kind of simple. Um, I mean, if, if you're an atheist and you don't believe in God and you don't believe in, you know, humanism in the sense of, you know, humans should, are innately superior for some reason, uh, beyond, you know, their intellect. Um, yeah, we were animals. You know, a few thousand years ago, we were animals. And, uh, you know, if you saw one of us, you know, eating bugs, you know, even a, like a hundred thousand years ago, in the wild, uh, you wouldn't think any more of us than any other animal. I mean, we weren't too damn impressive, you know, scratching our asses and eating bugs. So, um, you know, I, I couldn't justify um, farming retarded humans, and that's basically what animals are. They're just retarded humans. I mean, they they can feel and they have emotions. The only thing they can't do is read and write Shakespeare. So um, I'm going to take points off for that. Um, not when it comes to life, death, and concern for welfare. So that's ethically the evolution of my conversion to being a vegetarian. I mean, I, you know, realized that I really have no business eating other animals, um, so uh, I stopped doing it, other conscious animals. And so obviously there's a line you got to draw. You know, I mean, microbes really don't worry me, um, and insects, I guess, but see, that's, you know, you can sort of argue what's going on in their little heads. Um, so the other side of it is the political side, so I'll get to that. I mean, I'm going to try to keep this, you know, under 10 minutes, um, or less, maybe. Uh, you know, politically, um, I guess I can't go for a lot of the animal rights activist stuff just because um, I, I think we, we have the obligation to persuade people. I believe in government by consensus. So, I mean, unless we can get like 60 or 70 percent of the people to believe what we believe, we really have no business imposing any new morality slash ethics, um, you know, on the rest of society. And, uh, you know, if we all decide we have a right to draw attention to ourselves by screwing with other people's lives, you know, civil society isn't going to work. So, as much as I understand um, aggressive behavior in defense of victims, um, I can't defend it. Um, so, <laughs> I guess the only issue that makes this really tough is the animal testing issue because it's just not a it's not a personal thing it's not you know that's you know as a society we're we're doing that so in a sense the mediators are forcing us along on that one and uh, that's really not fair um, you know because that's just gratuitous I mean you know to, to deny the suffering we're causing in the name of preventing suffering is just you know human suffering it's, that's just, that's just, it's just not right. Um, but anyway, so this ability, it really is, to me, it, it's, the, it's a, a logical conclusion that you're going to get to, um, you know, without having some kind of godlike perception of human importance. I mean, you, you really have to overinflate the meaning of our existence to find no meaning or lesser meaning or sufficiently lesser meaning in in recognizing the rights of animals and it's not so much a right to life it's a right not to be you know enslaved or farmed um, you know living a miserable life um, you know for our convenience I mean, just we can't justify doing that I mean nature absolutely sucks. I mean, right now there's animals eating each other, all kind of carnage, and, um, you know, so people get, it's hard for people to understand why we have to be more careful than nature. I mean, that's the standard they apply. It's almost like, well, because nature sucks, we can suck. And, uh, you know, it's an argument. What are you going to say? You can't say anything to it. You can't argue with it because it has to do with you know, a made-up perception of human importance. I can't, you know, yeah, all I can do is argue that 
we don't really have a right to um, justify our behavior using nature as the standard. I mean, nature is crude, ignorant forces. Um, we have a brain, and if we're going to act like retards, <laughs> it's almost like, well, then maybe we should farm ourselves. Maybe we should just farm human retards and use them as we wish, and, and then we could sit there and rationalize that kind of society. But in some ways, we do that anyway. I mean, we've created systems that, you know, ruin people, they ruin animals. It's a, it's a very consumption. It's all about, you know, undisciplined consumption. Uh, this society has a lot, big problem with that. And all people do. We're all guilty of it. We're all seduced, you know. We all have want and we're driven by it. And, uh, but this is one of those, yeah, this is a place where uh, intellectually we can draw a line and say, wait a minute, you know, we can want it, but we really aren't entitled to it. And, um, you know, I think, you know, for the, for the higher mammals and such, we have an obligation to them. And it almost irritates me, you know, this, you know, it's, it's, it's like people save whales, right? I mean, this is one of these animal rights things, right? They save whales, but what are they saving them for? We live in a consumption society. And so whales will become, you know, if you save them from extinction, all they'll be is farmed. We'll go out and we'll harvest them. And I mean, if I was a whale, I really don't think I'd feel great about the prospects that, oh yes, you let me live, but, you know, I have a, every year I have a one in three or four chance of you sticking in a harpoon in my wife or my kid. <laughs> you know, what kind of life is that? I mean, would you want to live with that sword hanging over your head? I, you know, who would? I mean, you know, that's the thing. It's just, you know, we, you've got to recognize that we, we're saving things for, for, again, I mean, they're saving things just because they want to be able to look at them. So they're doing the same thing. They're, they're not doing it for the end. That's the one with the best interest of the animal. They're doing what's in their own best interests because it isn't in... It isn't, it isn't in a whale's best interest as a species to survive if we're just going to exploit them. It really isn't. I mean, would you want that? Would you want an alien culture to come from here, you know, from outer space or whatever, and farm us? And would you feel like, oh, what a great life we have here. They provide for us, and they do this, and they do that, and, you know, all they do, and you know, all they ask for in return is the right to fuck us over, you know, every few years. <clears throat> and we get to have a nice short lifespan, and, um, what, what the hell, that would, we would all fight against that, we'd reject that. So, anyway, there, see, I kept it under something anyway. So, sloppy video, messy, whatever, it's probably got, you know, all kinds of little freezes in it and other stuff, but, uh, you know, it was a long day, and uh, I'll do better next time. <laughs>